can you find a perfect square hidden in there? What is a perfect square? Those That's numbers like four, two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times four is 16 and so on, right? So do one of those divide evenly into eight? Four, right? So let's combine that with the product rule here. So we want to break down square root of eight and make that equal to something. And then we're going to try this perfect square four here. So that's going to be equal to square root of four times square root of something else. But that something else is just what times four equals eight. And since your times tables are strong, I know you know that that equals two, right? Eight equals four times two. So what can we do with this? How does that help us here? Well, if something is equal to something else, we can just replace it with what it's equal to, right? So let's do that with this part here, square root of eight. Let's just bring down that three. It's not really part of this product rule thing, right? And then let's just replace square root of eight with what it's equal to. it's equal to square root of four times square root of two. Can you find any other thing we can simplify here? We can use that, right? Let's just bring down our three again. But what's the square root of four? It's just two, because two times two equals four. And then let's bring down our square root of two so side note, we can't simplify square root of two because it's not a perfect square. No whole number times itself equals two. Well, we have three times two, right? That's pretty easy. So now your times tables are strong because you got four times two down there. So we can just simplify that to six. And this whole first expression here becomes 6 square root of 2.